What's up everybody, this is Reverend Guns, and today we are going to be taking apart a Yama 1911-45 Cal. So the first thing we want to do is a safety check. There's a button right here. You want to press that, and that will cause the magazine to come out. You don't want this near any of your solvents or cleaners, so set this far away from your cleaning station. Then, you can see there's a lever right here. When you slide the slide back, push the lever up, and it will lock it in place. Now, you can look down in the barrel there and see there's nothing in there. Now we know it's safe to take apart and clean. So push back the slide and put it back in its resting position. And now we're going to point the gun upwards. And I push down about halfway on the button here, right below the barrel. And that will allow you to twist the barrel nut here clockwise. Go as far as you can. And then slowly take your finger off. That will allow you to take off the cap. You can also take out the spring. Now if you turn the barrel nut completely clockwise, like this, this will allow you to take the barrel nut off. Now, you will see that there are two little grooves here. One here, one here. This one here is for the uh, slide lock itself. This one, you're going to line up with the top of the slide lock here, and that will allow you to pull, pull the entire lock out. So you're going to slide it all the way back and it's gonna look something like this see that there now if you flip it over there's a button right here you can push it and flip it back over and that will allow you to pull the pin out now you should be able to just slide the slide completely off All right, got the guide rod here that came out with it. You see the little floppy hole here. You wanna make sure that's pointing towards the end of the barrel and that will allow you to slide the barrel out. These are the pieces we will be cleaning today. I'm gonna to do a quick spray down. of everything because it looks like everything needs some cleaning. So while that's soaking for a moment, I'll explain what I've got sitting here. Any gun cleaner will work. It's all a matter of opinion and preference. Um, that debate can go on forever. This is what I use. It works really well. I'm going to continue using it. I've got a soft bristle brush with a little detail end on the end of it. I've got a harder bristle brush. That's for real stubborn carbon. I don't use the uh, metal or brass brushes because I don't want to scratch up any of the, the slide or the, the frame. Uh, it, 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 the cleaner is so good that it, you really this is more than enough and a lot of times you don't even need the brush. So I've also got a uh, 45 cal barrel brush that would be used for the inside of the barrel. I've got a slotted cleaning rod here. This will be used for uh, swabbing out the remaining parts of the barrel. Uh, the screwdriver we don't need. I've got some gun oil here. I've got a rag that I use just gun oil for so it's not contaminated with anything else. I've got some patches 
and Q-tips sometimes come in handy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the barrel because that's kind of the only thing that really matters on how you do it. The rest of it, you can just go at it with a brush and 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 get it clean, get everything carbon free, get all the, get all the black stuff off there. So when you take your barrel brush, you want to go in from the back. And yes, that means two things, and you want to go the direction the bullet travels. Um, the reason why we don't go this way is because we don't want to ding, dent, chip, cause any damage on this end because uh, that will cause accuracy issues and other problems. So we want to go in from the back and make sure you're going all the way through and just give it a nice good scrub. You'll feel it get less gritty and a little smoother. <laughs> and after a minute or so, we can put that away. And now we'll take our brush and kind of go around everywhere you can see and get everything scrubbed off. I'm using the detail in to kind of get in the little corners and smaller parts. All right, now we got it brushed off. We'll grab our uh, slaughter cleaning rod here, and I usually do two or three at a time because this is such a large barrel. I'm going to start with two, see how that does. Just stick it in the hole. Pull it through. And again, you want to go in from the back. Go on the way the bullet travels. So stick it in. Run it through a few times. And let's take a quick look at that. See how that turned out. Yeah, it's a, a wee bit dirty of a barrel there. So we're gonna do that a couple more times. You, depending on how many times you shot the pistol, depends on how dirty this is. So you may only have to do this a couple times. You may have to do this several times. So just keep doing it until you don't see any more black on here because nothing black is ever good. And uh, we want we to remove it all. Make sure this barrel is clean. It's getting a little better. Not all gone yet. These will never end up being completely white. Um, they'll be kind of a gray. They'll look kind of look like they're wet. Um, the, the main thing is, is we're trying to make sure all the black is off of there. That looks pretty good. So don't see no more black, it's slightly tinge of gray. We're going to call the inside of the barrel done. So let's give this a little wipe down. Remove everything else we just brushed off. All right. Barrel is done. And we can go through all these little small parts real quick. Give them a quick brush. And 
wipe them off. Make sure you get everything wiped off. Don't want any gun cleaner left on there. No residue. Let's do that next. Never hurts to go through and clean all the parts. finger in there to get the rest of it out. Alright, that's done. You can get the spring. Not gonna hurt it any. that off. Get the spring cap here. off. Just cram a little bit in there. Let's move on to the slide. Get everywhere you can. Especially the rails. Because we don't want it to hang up and not cycle completely.
get around these sides real good. We'll wipe that off. Slides done. Now for the frame. Wanna get everywhere you can. off Awesome. Time for some lube. Let's grab our gun oil here. I just smear a little bit on on the rag, towel, rag, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's start with the barrel. And what we're looking for on here is wear marks like these. They look like scratches. Anything that looks like it's been rubbing. We want to make sure we uh, get lube in those areas. So I usually do the whole whole shaft of the barrel. And then I start looking around the chamber here and looking for scratch marks. Where do I see scratches? Got some there, there. Top don't look bad. Uh, the cap you don't need to do. Uh, if you want to do uh, the the lock pin, uh, I would do just the pin itself, just so it makes it easy to get in and out. Uh, the guide rod, I would do the rod itself because the spring goes over it and rubs against it. Barrel nut, I ain't gonna do. The spring, I'm not gonna do. On the slide, we're looking for the same thing. We're looking for scratches, rub marks, anything that looks like it's been touching. So I'm gonna kinda do the rail there. I'm gonna do, looks like right there. 
Looks like a lot happens in here. So we're gonna make sure we get that real good. Uh, oh, looks like the sides. And you also wanna get inside the rail real good. Little, little rail inside the, the slide here. All right, so that's the end of that. Let's do the frame. Let's get those the rail real good. Get the rail real good. And anywhere you see scratch marks, rub marks, that's pretty much where you want any of the oil. Now I put a little bit on the feed ramp myself just to kind of help the cartridge get into the chamber easy. And that's about it for oiling. I, I don't want to put uh, a lot on here because oil attracts dirt and dust and we don't want a whole lot of dirt and dust getting uh, attracted to it and maybe causing it to jam up. So let's now put it back together. Let's take our slide. I've got the muzzle end to my left here. We're going to take the barrel and that little flappy hole you see there, you want that towards the muzzle end. And you can slide that in the front all the way back. We can take the barrel nut and you'll want it mostly to the right and you'll turn it clockwise all the way and that allows for the spring and guy rod to go through which is what we're going to do next there's a little v here on the guide rod itself that straddles the barrel so when you put this in stick it in the end it doesn't matter which end slide it through the hole and it just sits on there there's it just straddles it okay now we can take our frame and slide and you see the hole here this hole on the barrel is going to line up with that hole so that's what you're looking for when you slide it on so there's two little notches here. You see the ends of the frame here. They are going to be inserted into those little cuts. And you want to look in there until you see. Oh, mine actually lined up instantly. That's good. So, what we'll do is we'll take the locking pin and it goes like this in the hole. So, Put it in the hole first and push it as far as you can. What I do is I twist it clockwise just a hair and then go upward and in and it kind of does a beginning snap but doesn't go all the way in. So what we'll do now is move that notch back to the silver piece. You can kind of see that there and you just kind of keep sliding the slide back. I can't see it so I'm gonna bring it down until it's lined up and now you can press the rest of it in it just easily pops right back in and now you can slide the slide all the way back point the gun upward take your spring cap it's got a hollow end that's what goes over the spring and again you'll push it down You'll push it down and turn the barrel nut counterclockwise until it locks in and holds it in place. Now, we do a quick function check. Looks like everything's working. And that just leaves one final wipe down. Grab a clean rag here and just go over it once. 
remove any excess oil or cleaner, anything that might still be in here. pretty good so there you have it we have just taken apart cleaned oiled and put back together a Yama 1911 45 cal we'll see you next time thanks for watching I also offer the online course to get your Texas license to carry a handgun it's the four-hour class broken down into segments and saves your progress so you can do it at your own pace after completing the course, you will be able to print your certificate. Then, it'll help you locate an instructor close to you, no matter where you are in Texas, so you can complete the shooting portion of the course. This is all certified by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Check it out at reverendguns.com. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more firearms education.